In this demonstration, we're testing a typical 20 horsepower AC motor coupled to a pump. Your setup may vary depending on your application. The first step is easy. After turning on the vibration tester, press the yellow setup button. The A10 guides you through setup with a series of simple questions. First, select setup new machine. Then enter your machine name. To enter, you can either use the dial or the F3 soft key. The rotating dial makes it easy to select characters to enter a machine name. To move the cursor, use the F2 button. To delete, hit F4 or backspace. When you're finished, simply hit F5 and then F4 to move on. Once completed, the machine setup will be saved in the tester's memory for future measurements. In the machine setup, the tester will ask you to enter information about the motor, the transmission, and the driven component. As you answer these questions, the tester will build an image on top of the screen depicting the machine drivetrain. It's important to give accurate answers during setup. Guesses or estimates may result in a misleading diagnosis. For motor type, select AC. Select yes if motor is VFD or variable frequency drive. Otherwise, select no. Entering the correct running speed is critical to an accurate diagnosis. The Fluke A10 ships with an integrated laser tachometer for measuring the running speed of rotating equipment. Before using the laser tachometer, make sure to turn the motor off. Affix a piece of included reflective tape to the drive shaft. Do not attempt this procedure while the machine is running. Once the tape is applied, return the machinery to normal operating conditions. Connect the tachometer cable to the first connector at the top of the tester. Hit F3, and when you see the green light on the laser tachometer, push the button and point the laser beam to the shaft where you want to make a measurement. Enter 20 horsepower for the motor's horsepower. Hit F3 or Enter. Follow the on-screen prompts to continue with machine setup. Select horizontal for motor mounting. Select roller for motor bearing type. And select no for motor detached from the drivetrain. If you're only testing the motor and there is nothing attached to it, select yes. Select no for motor closed coupled. Yes for coupling between motor and next component. Select pump from the combo box next component. Select roller for driven component bearing type, centrifugal for pump type, and for impeller is supported by, select overhung. All questions within the machine setup are required to generate a diagnosis, except those labeled optional. Optional information is usually easy to obtain from the manual or the manufacturer and will help ensure a correct diagnosis. Skipping optional questions may result in an overdiagnosis of the component's condition or a false positive diagnosis. But if you choose to skip them, simply push F2 after you have answered all the required questions. For this demonstration, press F4 and use the dial to enter 5 for the number of veins. Once you've confirmed your selection, the tester will go to the last setup screen. Press F3 to complete the machine setup. Now we're ready to take a measurement.